Hi, this is Charity and welcome to season two of Super Sim. So as you know, the poll pretty much says, yeah, let's start over. So that's what we're going to do right now. And we have Annalise and Pandora is the name that's in the lead. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that. And we will get started with her. Now I have some plans for this series. And for those of you who are new, Super Sim is about achieving everything that you can with a single Sim, including all milestones, all careers, every degree, all of the skills, aspirations, reward traits, and collections. And we're even going to attempt to do the achievements in the save file. So the first thing that I'm going to try and do is work around a current bug. There's unfortunately a current bug with the toddlers that they don't get all of their milestones. So what we're going to start out doing is aging up Pandora. And what about her infant milestones, you say? Well, unfortunately, the infant milestones are the problem. They make her start out with having a higher level movement skill as a toddler, but I have a workaround and you'll have to stay and watch the whole video to figure out what it is. But basically we're going to age her up to a toddler right now. Oh. Happy birthday, Pandora. <laughs> and Pandora is going to be independent because I can't be bothered with potty training. Okay, you can keep that outfit. That's actually a really cute outfit. So her birthmark does not last into her toddlerhood. So she only has the birthmark while she's an infant and that's okay. And the first thing we're going to get her started on is her movement skill. So I'm going to have her go on this little slide and work on that skill. Now, for those of you that don't know, this is Carla. <laughs> Carla is grandmother. But for right now, we're going to have her live with us instead of Clement, who is the father of Pandora. And we're going to have Grandma and Annalise's mother take care of Pandora. But the only problem is Carla is a werewolf because we had to turn her into one in order to do the breeding for Pandora. Now I have a solution to that. And the solution to that is to just basically cure her because all I have to do is get some wolf spane and get some moon petal. Now the moon petal might be a problem because it's not the full moon. So what we're going to do is set the moon cycle to the lowest amount of days. Right now it's the new moon. Okay, and supposed to be the full moon tonight. But I think that means Tuesday night. So we should be able to collect the moon petals by then. And there we go. Level three of the movement skill. And what that does is it gives us the dance, learn to climb stairs, and learn to walk milestones. Now, I don't know if you need all three. I think you do, but I haven't really tested this out yet. But I think you need at least three. And then we're going to age her up to a child. And I will explain the reason for this in a minute. Anna. <laughs> Happy birthday, Pandora. Oh, yeah. And here her trait really doesn't matter. But what we're going to do is choose one that I would have chosen, which is Kleptomaniac. And then I guess we'll start with the WizKid aspiration. But this is actually not what we're going to do for later on. And yeah, that's a nice outfit. Okay, at this point, you save the game and go to Manage Worlds. And in Manage Households, I'm just going to edit this Super Sim new, and we're going to change this to Season 2. And then we're going to save this household out to the library. Okay, and now that we've saved the household out to the library, I am going to, unfortunately, delete Pandora and then open the gallery and in my library look for households oh, oh, oh. and then we will get Super Sim Season 2, the one I just had and see Pandora is in here 
And if you hit place household, it will merge it with your current household. Hmm. Now we have two Carla's and two Annalise. So we will delete those two sims. And the one I really wanted is Pandora. And the reason why you do it this way is because you can oh then set her age back down to infant. And look, she's an infant again. And I didn't use cheats. I am not in full edit mode in CAS. This is allowed because you're basically importing a new sim. And because I'm importing a new sim, I'm going to go ahead and set her old mother as her mother. And we'll go ahead and set the family dynamic to supportive because that actually gives a little bit of a boost when it comes to buffs and sentiments. So Carla is her grandmother and Annalise is her mother. Now I cannot set her father as Father Winter because he's not in my household. So basically that Father Winter won't even be in our family tree. But I'm okay with that. And I'm not sure what the best infant trait is. I do know that sensitive is bad. And wiggly is bad for sleeping through the night. So maybe we'll try calm. And then let's help her have some decent outfits. I mean, this one is pretty cute. I'm okay with this one. Uh, it's actually not half bad. Not that this really matters, but we're going to be stuck with the infant for quite a while. So I want to make sure that she at least looks like she matches. Okay, every day, formal, sleep, party, hot weather, and cold weather. And hopefully it doesn't give me a few amount of days. Because when you do it this way, she's going to be imported with a random day range. So hopefully we get five days as an infant. Okay, and then you load up the game, and Miss Pandora over here has her milestones. So she has two birthday milestones, which, yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate, but it's fine. Ugh, and it's random. Sometimes it puts the... Oh, no, you have to click on toddler. Okay, that's right. Okay, so it's not random. You have to click on toddler because they don't show by default, but she does have these milestones. So she has learned to walk, learned to climb stairs, and learned to dance. And that's because she went through the first three levels of her toddler movement skill. And what we're going to do is go through all the infant milestones, and then hopefully... When she gets to be a toddler, she will earn level four and five movement milestones. And maybe you start out at level two. I, I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure that I if you get all the fine motor skills and gross motor skills that you start out at level three as a toddler. So we'll kind of experiment with that, but that is a way to fix the bug where the toddler doesn't get all the milestones because they start out at a high level and it doesn't automatically give you the milestones when you have a birthday. And supposedly some people are reporting that the cheats in order to cheat the motor skill up and down are even broken. So if that is the case, and you would have to use a mod in order to lower and raise the motor skill, then I really don't want to do that this time. So for this time, since there's no way to cheat the milestone, I'm using this kind of hack workaround that doesn't even actually involve cheats or mods. Oh, we got so lucky. We got five days. Okay. And that's another thing that I wanted to attempt to do is to attempt to get all of the milestones before Pandora ages up from an infant to a toddler on her own. So we have until Sunday, and I'm not sure what time on Sunday, but it, you actually get another day. Her birthday is technically Sunday, but the game will give you 24 hours after her birthday to age her up with a cake. So sometime on Monday, she will be auto aging up. And if we can get all the milestones done, then that is my goal. And the reason why I couldn't do it last time is because I didn't know how to get all of the milestones. And since I didn't know how to get all of them, it took me a little while to figure out some of them. 
And there's no way I could have made it in five days. It was really rough. Even now, she has a low bladder need and low hunger need. And I have to try and make sure that she's taken care of. And that is sometimes an issue. So we're going to immediately do tummy time together and hope that we can keep her from using her diaper because unfortunately if she uses her diaper we won't get the blowout milestone uh and she's gonna immediately okay she hopefully she doesn't immediately use her diaper because that would be a bad thing <laughs> and what i was thinking of doing is actually most of the time using carla to do all of these things. And I completely forgot that I was going to do that. So Annalise will do the first one since her needs are pretty high. And then Carla will do all of the taking care of the baby because she has that super efficient infant care. And she can also adopt her as a care dependent, which I don't understand why she would, wouldn't automatically be a care dependent of Carla. Carla is her grandmother. But yeah, if we, if we do look at her family line, she does not have a father. And Nolan has a father. So technically Pandora is Nolan's half-sister. And I could have fixed that, but I decided not to. The reason why Grim is still in her family tree is because that's her grandfather. And once I connected Annalise as her mother, then that's where Grim and Carla's relations come in to play. Although we might have another problem later on down the line, and that is that the, I think woohooing the Grim Reaper is a milestone, which Pandora obviously cannot woohoo with her grandfather. So we might have to figure out a way in which Pandora can um, woohoo with a different Grim Reaper. Maybe we can get it to the point where Grim gets reassigned I don't know we'll have to think about that later because that might be a problem yeah having a supportive family dynamic gives her this happy buff plus one of a warmed heart so the reason why that's good is because every time an infant has a low need or a fussing or crying episode and they have a negative emotion you lose points I don't know how to explain it you just basically lose points and if you lose too many points they won't get the top-notch infant at the end but it's actually really easy to get top-notch infant I haven't really had an issue doing that even if I occasionally let them cry it's fine now the one bad thing about the super efficient infant care is that it doesn't get rid of this rest time buff from being awake for too long. So she will actually have to sleep a little bit. Maybe we can just give her a nap. Okay, we have rollover to back. So we have the first two gross motor milestones already. Another issue with the super efficient infant care is that she will never pee her pants so i'm going to have to let her have bladder failures otherwise she won't get those milestones and pandora loves wake up time well that's actually a good quirk to have i had a dream about you last night you were being followed by grim he kept looking down at his slablet and then looking at you at least i think he was looking at you i don't think he actually had a face whatever that doesn't matter what matters is I think I might be psychic so this is serious you're in danger my friend um I think I'll be fine because I'm Grimm's daughter if he had it out for me then I don't think that he would be a very nice person and we're getting another milestone we're going to roll over to our tummy and then we can do tummy time on our own Okay, well, I guess she can do tummy time for a little while. Okay, now I know she has a diaper rash, but it's more likely that she'll have a blowout and also pee on her caregiver if she has a low bladder and a dirty diaper already. So we're going to try and give her a nap. And no, don't you come over here and try and take her. You go back upstairs. Actually, why don't you just go write a bucket list thing? 
Okay, now if I give her a nap, hopefully I can get it to the point where her bladder is a little bit lower because I don't think that's low enough. It needs to be preferably in the red, but at least in the yellow. Oh, don't put her down. Just give her a nap. No, don't use your diaper. Say, what's that? No, I can't. Oh, that's unfortunate. She uses her diaper when it's not even in the yellow. I can't keep her from doing it. It's annoying. All right. Well, you might as well wake up. No point in sleeping now. No, don't hand her. I hate it when I have two people in the same household because they constantly hand each other the infant. And that drives me nuts. Oh, she's reaching a milestone already. What milestone will it be this time? Oh, she's creeping. Okay, that's good. Now we can practice crawl, practice sit, and then we just have to stand and we're pretty much done. Now, since it's the full moon, we can come up here and see if these are harvestable. They are. Okay. And what you can do is, since you need three of them in order to make the cure, just visit every lot and get one for each lot. Asha. And I completely forgot that Carla can tunnel. Oh, I didn't realize that harvesting once gives you three of them. Okay, I guess we only needed to do that once. But we do need another three moon petals for when Pandora becomes a teenager. Because I'm not doing the werewolf part first like I did last time. I'm just going to cure her since Carla already knows the cure. So we do have some advantage of taking Carla over into this save. And that we don't have to relearn the werewolf cure in order to get cured the first time. Okay, and the next thing that we can do is order some Wolfsbane seeds from the computer. We need five packets. Okay, Carla, say goodbye to being a werewolf. Oh. Yeah, and since Carla's in our household, we really don't have to worry about her aging too much. Because what I will do is I will just purchase the Potion of Youth from her satisfaction points, which are 111,056. So we're not going to run out of satisfaction points anytime soon with her. And I'm just going to use her satisfaction points for her and occasionally for these moodlet solvers for Annalise. Because when the infant is an infant, we are in a time crunch. And we need to get everything done as quickly as possible. So while Pandora is sleeping, let's send everyone else to sleep and see how long we can have her sleep. I don't know if she can sleep through the night. She's probably not tired enough. But we at least need to get this bladder down. And I have her doing a bunch of tummy times when she wakes up. So hopefully she will not use her diaper. Yeah, she didn't even make it to the point where she wasn't tired anymore. So she still has a little bit of a yellow bladder, which is unfortunate. She can creep. I don't know if this will teach her to crawl, though. Don't pee. Don't pee. Don't pee. Not yet. I need to pick you up. Okay. If she pees when being held, that's the best thing because she gets two milestones, the blowout and peed on caregiver. So we're going to feed her. Don't pee yet. Don't pee yet. Oh, you're going to pee. Oh, well, at least she's in the red. She has a chance to have a blowout, hopefully, because her diaper is dirty. I want to change her. Oh no, her diaper's not dirty anymore because I zoned. What's up with that? That should not be the case. I think she might be having a blowout though. Because it's not letting her pee while she's being fed. No, she's not going to have a blowout. Okay. This is going to take forever. Okay, we're going to practice sitting. Oh, and by the way, I do have some lot challenges here. We have creepy crawlies, simple living, reduce and recycle, and, you know, some of the minor ones, definitely not cursed. 
And the reason why is because I want to go for a little bit of an extra challenge this time, at least for the beginning. If I get tired of the laundry and I get tired of taking out the trash, then we'll just turn all that off again. And I did change the lunar cycle back to eight days. So I only cheat like that when I really want to have the full moon happen quicker because it's annoying to wait on the full moon when I needed Carla to not be a werewolf. Oh, she's going to sit up. That's a gross motor milestone. And then we need to stand and crawl. And then we can work on the fine motor. The only problem is I don't like the sit-up milestone because they just are so much harder to pick up after that. Okay, we'll try crawling and then maybe you can do a super efficient infant care because she is a little tired. I don't know if it gets her energy up though. I think it's just hunger and bladder. No, don't check her. I'm dealing with it. I'm going to have to lock you in another room, Annalise. Yeah, it doesn't help her energy at all. Oh, well. Okay, we added the birds mobile. So hopefully this will help her sleep through the night. I'm just going to wait until she has like green energy. And then we'll start working on her milestones again. Oh, yeah, that's right. We do have creepy crawlies. That's okay. Carla can't avoid it. I would do all lot challenges, but I really, really hate off the grid. And I also hate the cursed one because the cursed one makes fires happen way too often. And I'm just not ready to deal with that while I'm trying to get all this infant stuff done. That's enough of a challenge for right now. Okay, I summoned Grim and he came all the way out here. Grim! I want to ask you to be my romantic partner. I'm hoping that eventually I can get him to either ask Carla to marry him or somehow get him to the point where the game assigns another Grim Reaper to his spot because I need a different Grim Reaper. We could also not set Carla as the grandmother for Pandora. Although in order to do that, then Annalise would not be able to be her mother. And I don't know, I kind of want the Grim Reaper in my tree, but then it makes it problematic if we have to get a milestone for woohooing the Grim Reaper, because that's impossible. <laughs> and I wouldn't want to anyway. So we have to get another Grim Reaper somehow, or we just have to bypass that milestone and have Carla do it. Um, in fact, that's what I'm going to try and do right now. Can we woohoo the Grim Reaper? Oh, we haven't even first kissed him. That's right. We just had a science baby. No kiss yet. My game is kind of bugged and I haven't been able to woohoo the Grim Reaper with Carla. Although that was trying for baby. So maybe it works now. Why is the first kiss not working? I first kissed him and it's still saying first kiss. It's like not updated. Okay, there we go. All right, so can we woohoo in the crypt? We're not going to try for baby. Well, he agrees to it. Okay, we are actually going to woohoo the Grim Reaper. Okay, Carla, you go. We'll have her do the milestone. Okay, she's still sleeping. Yep. Woohooed with Grim. I knew it. It is a milestone. So that one's not on James Turner's website yet, but it is a milestone. So Carla has satisfied that milestone. I don't think Pandora will be able to do it unless by some means we can get a different Grim Reaper. Another option would be to save Pandora and the rest of the family out into the library and move everybody to a new save. So we could do that. The only problem is that Grim would not be in our family tree anymore. So there's kind of ups and downs to however you do it. And why are you going to talk to the cow plant? Okay. Oh, she cooed. Yeah, she gets the other developmental milestones pretty much without trying so i'm just trying to get the motor ones okay i'm almost there if i can just keep her from 
using her diaper, then hopefully this will work. No, don't set her down. Don't set her down. That's not what I wanted. And now she's going to immediately pee. Watch. All right. Pick her up. Pick her up. Don't talk with her. Pick her up. It's like Carla knows. Carla knows she has to. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, okay. I got her to watch Carla. All right. She's in the red. Now, if I go to use diaper, I'm hoping that she'll have a blowout and pee all over Carla. Although I don't know if she gets the peed on caregiver milestone for that. I think maybe that has to be done from the changing table, but we'll see. Don't set her down, Carla. Don't set her down. No, Carla. Oh, great. She's going to pee. She's going to pee and there's nothing I can do to stop her. Yep. Great. Carla, you're too smart. <laughs> I gotta make it so that she can't set her down. Okay, I got her to pick her up. Why don't you feed her so that you will not set her down and then she's going to use her diaper now. Ah, uh, I got her to do it. Watch, she's not gonna have a blowout. She doesn't look like she's having a blowout. Oh, she is. No! Carla, <laughs> she's too smart. <laughs> I guess it's She's level 10 parenting. She just knows she doesn't get peed on. <laughs> How did you avoid that? How in the world did you avoid that, Carla? <laughs> okay, fine. Go give the baby a bath. Okay, we get a bubble bath. And then we need to have a quick nap if she's tired. Yeah, she's so sleepy. So... She does need to have a short little nap because I need her to go to bed at night and stay asleep. Okay, so she got first bath. Was that just a bath or I thought there was bubbles in there. Okay, it just doesn't show it because she got the bubble bath first and then the first bath. All right, so... We'll start working more on crawling after a nap, though. Another benefit we have is that Carla has no needs. So her caring for the infant is pretty much all we need. We really don't even need Annalise. But I'm keeping her here because she's taking care of all the household chores. We could just hire a maid or a butler like we did last time. But sometimes they get in the way and they get a little bit annoying. Another thing I forgot when I was setting this up is that you can actually be both born and adopted. So we're going to do that now. But this time, instead of deleting Pandora, we're going to delete Annalise and Carla. So first what I'm going to do is save out this current family. Delete Carla. Delete Annalise. And then re-import them, but delete the new Pandora. Okay, and then she has no relation to Carla or Annalise. You have to leave it that way. Okay, and the way this should work is that their genealogy is completely, okay, screwed up because she has a brother. But that's fine. All right. If I take her mother and I go to friendly and affection and small talk and activities. um, Yeah, well, actually, this is not working. Okay, there it is. Oh, they moved it. I swear. If this bites me one more time, Sims, it's under the relationship panel and no longer under friendly. Okay, so if you go under relationship change relationship and adopt Pandora. This will actually restore everything to the way it was, but she's now got the milestone of being adopted, which is kind of cute. Okay, and now she is born at a hospital and adopted, which yeah, she's adopted by her birth mom. So that's kind of weird. But it is possible to get both of those milestones. And we're just trying to get all of the milestones we can possibly get on the same sim. 
Now, there will be some milestones that are impossible to get. So we can't be both born at a hospital and born at home and then just born. So if you don't have get to work, you will get a milestone that says born. And that one we can't even get in her line anywhere because I have get to work. Okay, so this should completely reconstruct the family tree. Okay, I'm going to try soothing her to sleep. Even though she's already trying to go to night-night. I don't know if this is late enough or not. It's actually 6 p.m. Okay, if I go to build mode, it's only afternoon. So this is not technically nighttime. I don't know how long she needs to sleep, but... This is a lot of energy, so hopefully she doesn't wake up. Oh, she got a milestone. Yes, she slept through the night, even though she really didn't sleep for that long at night. Okay, well, time to get up. Okay, let's practice crawling. Okay, it looked like she crawled there. Yeah, she did. Okay, for some reason, she has to do it from her back. It's kind of weird. Okay, and now she's going to crawl around, but we don't want you to do that. Okay, the only thing is it's raining, and I don't have very much luck with getting them to stand unless there's only one chair in the area. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, let's try again. Carla, come back here. Where are you going? Why are you bringing her inside? And going all the way upstairs. I'm going to lock you out of this house. No, you can't practice standing over here. You can't do it over there. She's going to want to stand on this chair that is not available because it's against the wall. Great. Yeah, she can't get to it. See? That doesn't work, Carla. All right, fine. I guess what I'll have to do is put all of the stuff in the inventory and just leave one chair out everywhere basically because she goes to a random chair and if the chair is not free in other words there's something in front of it she can't stand up on it and it's just annoying i don't know why they made this so buggy it's like she shouldn't try to route to a chair that has a table or a desk in front of it if they have to stand or they have to stand Okay, and now she can reach it, but she has to go all the way inside. That's fine. And here is Pandora standing up when the animation finishes. It is kind of adorable. I love the animation. I wonder if we can try dancing. There's pull to stand, but how do you dance? I think maybe you have to ask someone to teach you. I forgot about that one. Okay, wiggle to music. I think maybe that'll work. Maybe you don't have to have anybody help you. Oh, she doesn't like the loud music. Sorry. Oh, she actually loves sounds. So why was she upset by the loud sound? All right, well, hopefully this learn to dance thing just happens, but I'm not sure. Well, she does need to sleep a little bit, so I guess we'll put her back in the crib. No, in the crib. Why are you not putting her in the crib? Is she getting a milestone or something? I think maybe she was getting a milestone, but it didn't happen, so she's going to bed. Why does this one not slot in this changing table? I think this changing table is functional, but the trash can does not slot into it. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, we're here at Nolan's house. Hopefully Nolan is here. I'm pretty sure he is. Because supposedly Nolan is her brother. Where is Nolan? Okay, here's Father Winter or Clement Frost. And we have Miracle, Jada, Nash, Georgia, and Camilla. What happened to Nolan? Oh, for some reason, the, the game did not spawn him in. 
So it says he's at daycare, but no, his dad is right there. Okay, now I just need Pandora to introduce herself to Clement and introduce herself to Nolan. I don't know if that will count as visiting a relative's home because the relative is an infant. Maybe we'll have to move in her brother and age him up or something so he can have his own house. Okay, so she knows them and he's her brother. And so that should make him her uncle or actually father. Nolan is her half brother. So that's a little bit complicated. I guess we'll go back home and invite them over. Okay, let's see if Clement will hold Pandora and if that will count as her first visitor. No, you don't want to hold her? Well, that's rude. Okay, I don't think it's going to count. She interacted with him. I guess it only counts if she meets him when she's here. I don't know. Anyway, you can go home. Okay, now she's reaching another milestone by doing tummy time. She's laughing. Okay. All right, yes, and no, you're not going night-night. First, we have to go change your diaper before you pee. Aww. She doesn't need to be changed every time, I ch every time I travel. She doesn't need to be changed. Okay, well, we have to have her use her diaper. <laughs> and yeah, then we've got to go feed her. And put her to bed. Why are you putting her down? It's already the end of Thursday. I don't know if I can finish this in five days or not. This is really hard because some of these milestones I thought I had figured out as to how to get, but because she doesn't have any relatives, it's a little bit tricky. Oh, we have an explosive malfunction, which means we have to go fix this over here. Or is it a grill? Fit, replace the faulty stove, oven, or grill. But I guess because this is one that is after for rent, they did not allow this one to break. Okay, well, that's a bug. All right, let's see if we can get the dance milestone. I believe it's just wiggling to the music. I don't really remember how I did it last time. Then we need to get ourselves into the play mat. Oh, wait. She may need a chair. Yeah, that may be a problem. Okay. And I can't even go into build mode. Great. All right. Well. Okay, she got the reach milestone. And we're going to go wiggle to the music. I think... I think I can have Carla sabotage the stove, but I'm not sure if this will count as replacing it. Oh no, I have simple living on. Well, <laughs> we also need some groceries then. I can't turn it off unless I go back into build mode. And I can't go to build mode unless I go to it from the map. Oh, and she's using her diaper again. Okay. Oh, she's getting a milestone. Yes, she got the dance milestone. Okay, she didn't need to pull up for that one. Okay, that one was just regular dancing. Okay, so if we play with the toys, we should be able to get the reach milestone. Oh, and this might be our first visitors unlocked. Let's not put down. Let's accept delivery. The grocery guy can count. No, I don't want to get down. I want to play with the toys. Why are you putting me down? Well, whatever. Okay, does this count? She didn't know him. She should get her first visitor milestone. Yes, she did. Okay, good. Now put me down. Okay, if I cook a grilled cheese after I have sabotaged something hopefully it will break and then i can fix it 
I don't know if it will count though because it didn't break it when this explosive malfunction happened. So it may not work. It did not break, but I definitely sabotaged it. Can I sabotage again? No, it's about to break. What if Annalise makes something? Because she's not as good at cooking. No. It's just not breaking. Okay, the stove is broken. Now, if I replace it... No. It did not work. Alright. Well, we're stuck with that for... Oh, I don't know, another 17 hours until it decides to resolve. Okay, so Clement Frost is interested in dating Becca Clark. Sure, go for it. Okay, hopefully this works. She's being changed and she has to go. Come on. There needs to be an option that says pee on caregiver. <laughs> Come on. Come on. She had a red one. Ah, and now she's going to be using her diaper, I bet. Yeah. Okay, okay, well, we'll try to quickly feed her. She's already using her diaper, isn't she? Nope, okay, so she didn't use her diaper, but even if I use my diaper here, yeah, she's going to use her diaper now, but I don't think that she'll have an accident because it just doesn't happen as soon as she's done feeding her she puts her down no and she's not gonna have a blowout anyway all right well we gotta try again all right we'll work on the fine motor skills go do something else annalise get something to eat oh there's actually not too much to eat okay she's getting a milestone yeah she's grabbing it okay so she got the grab milestone now she should be able to play with toys. And believe it or not, clapping is a fine motor skill. So playing with the play mat will help you clap. Don't ask me why. I thought it would be a social thing, but it's not. Okay, but now we can also get a high chair and start feeding her table food. Um, yeah, but the only unfortunate thing is I can't go into build mode. That's going to really annoy me. Okay, let's try it this time. Pandora has a red bladder need. So hopefully when I change her diaper, she's going to pee on me. Either that or maybe this changing table just doesn't support it. Oh, come on. That did not work. Well, let's try the blowout method. I don't think that works either. Nope. Okay. Yes, I know you're hungry. I know you're fussing, but I'm trying to get these milestones done. Okay. Well, at least there's only 51 minutes remaining on this emergency thing. Maybe if we try playing peekaboo and doing some of the social things, we can get those done. No, don't bathe her. She doesn't need a bath, really. I mean, a little bit, but not enough to give her one. Okay, let's see if she likes the peekaboo. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Okay, explosive malfunction is over with. Maybe I'll just keep that stove just in case the stove is what caused that not to work. And then we'll get a high chair. Okay, now she's going to try her first baby food. Okay, so she tried that one and she liked it. Okay, I thought I saw another milestone, but maybe not. Why are you putting her down there? All right, fine. We'll play with the toys for a little bit. Okay, so she got the babble milestone while she was playing with the toys. I don't know why, but that's just what she did. It's almost Pandora's birthday. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I had something in your queue. You can't use your diaper. Ah, she's going to use her diaper. Stop it. Stop it. You can't stop her from using her diaper. Ah, this is annoying. She had another blowout. Well, if I don't let her bladder need get 
far enough in the red, she doesn't pee on the caregiver. And then if I let it get too far, she just pees no matter what's in her queue. Okay, Nolan lives here. But we did not get the milestone, did we? No. Okay, well, I'm not sure if you can get that one as a toddler. Is it a toddler milestone too? Because I know some of them you can get as toddlers and you don't have to get it as an infant. I just want to get the ones that you have to get as an infant. Okay, she's reaching a milestone. Is it going to be foot and mouth? Looks like it. Okay, that's good. Because I actually wanted her to get that one. Now, this should be also visiting a family member's home because her mother now lives here. Okay, where is Annalise? She's probably not going to get it if Annalise isn't actually here. I sent her home. Why isn't she here? Okay, she's not here. That doesn't even make sense. I had her travel here and then she just immediately went back to my house for some reason. I don't get it. This game has it out for me. It's not going to let me finish everything. She even said she would come, and she's not here. Do I have to move her into her own house or something by herself? Um, whoops, Carla went and stole something out of the yard. That was not my idea. She's not here. She won't come here. Why is that the case? All right, I'm just going to move her into a different house, I guess. Okay, I moved Carla into her own house, so she's definitely visiting a relative's house. And she's watching Carla. Maybe I have to go inside? Okay, let's hand her over to Pandora, or let's hand Pandora over to Carla. And Carla is grandmother. And I am at grandmother's house. Why is this not working? Do I have to talk to Carla and interact with her at her house? <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, it's just not going to work. It's just not working. I don't know why. I don't see her getting a milestone. I think it should just pop up right when she goes to the lot, but it's not working. Okay, tried and true method. Restart. Okay. I not only restarted, I made it so Carla is no longer a played household. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but Carla is grandmother. Oh, she's also caregiver, though. Maybe that kind of stops it from happening. Well, I don't know. So what we'll do is just add another sim. <laughs> if I make him the sister, then Annalise is the mother. That's fine. I guess that's just how it's going to have to be. <laughs> okay, Dwight. Okay, does this one count? Probably not. Because you don't know him yet. No, you do not know him yet. Okay, well, let's try putting her down and then going and knocking on the door. And then we'll introduce her. We have to get these milestones done. I don't think I have enough time. I'm going to have to turn off aging. Okay, we introduced you to Dwight. Dwight is Pandora's brother. Can we get the milestone now? Okay, I don't see the milestone. I think at this point, other people have said that they've reloaded the game and it worked. So I'm going to try that again. Okay, I'm sorry I kind of missed that. Um... But what happened was I loaded into the game and it immediately gave me the milestone for the first visit to family member unlocked. So basically you have to create a new family member, move them out. They can't be a caregiver and visit their house, introduce the infant and then reload the game. And I found that on a Reddit post somewhere. So I don't know why it's that glitchy. I don't remember having this issue before, but I think that's maybe because I already had a lot of other family members in the game. And this time I didn't really have any family members in the game since I reloaded several times with Pandora. Oh, and I also visited a park. So that milestone is unlocked. 
And then I realized I had paused my recording because I was reloading and I didn't want to get a blank screen on my recording. So sorry, I forgot to start it again when I reloaded. And let's get Carla back into the household. Okay, let's go on a vacation. And first vacation unlocked. I think that pretty much resolves all of the ones where we need to travel. Okay, let's try and give her a quick nap. I don't know if we can get the rest of it done in time. Okay, we'll try playing dolls for a little while. Okay, it's Pandora's birthday at 5.13 a.m. So that means we have until Monday at 5.13 a.m. And if this doesn't happen, if she doesn't pee on Annalise, who has level one parenting on the old changing table, and she has peed in her diaper, and she currently has a red bladder, I don't know if she will ever pee on her caregiver. It just doesn't make any sense. Why is it not working? And then she glitched. She dropped her. No, don't use the toilet. Don't put her down. No, oh, she's going to use her diaper on the floor again. She's going to use her diaper on the floor. <laughs> this is not working. Okay, I can change it to watch, and that canceled the diaper using. Okay, we can pick her up. Maybe we can feed her. Just feed her. Don't talk with her. <laughs> oh, this is so annoying. And Annalise has to go to the bathroom, too. Okay. No, don't use your diaper. Don't use your diaper. Babble. Do something. Anything but using your diaper. If she has a blowout when Annalise is holding her, I'm pretty sure that that does not count as pee. Yeah, and she's going to use her diaper anyway. It's not going to count as peed on caregiver. There's nothing I can do about it. And watch her set her down. I bet she will set you down. No. Okay. So at least she peed while being held. But it doesn't look like she had a blowout. No. I don't get it. Okay, now she got pincer grasp. We'll take a quick nap since we have pincer grasp now. Okay, she's reaching another milestone and it's clap. So you think clap would be um, a social one, but nope. No, it's not. Okay, I think there's just one more fine motor one you have to get. I'm just going to go ahead and change her as soon as her bladder is in the yellow and we're going to pray for a miracle. Oh, she's clapping her hands. But I think the last one she needs for fine motor is waving. I don't know if someone needs to witness the wave or not. Okay, we'll try the finger foods. And that's also a milestone. Hey, where's my first finger food milestone? I think I have to finish it, actually. <laughs> there it is. Okay, maybe the game will glitch. Maybe it won't age her up. We'll see. Okay, we will try once more to change baby diaper. Please pee on me. I know that's a strange request. Did she just find a crayon in that diaper? <laughs> That's hilarious, actually. No. No. Didn't work. Okay. What if I just continuously use the diaper and then change the diaper? I mean, I don't think that helps, though, because if she doesn't have to go, she shouldn't pee while she's getting changed. Okay, she did not like yogurt melts. Okay, she's reaching a milestone. Which one is it? Okay, she blowed a raspberry. That's so cute. Okay, so can I actually blow a raspberry? No, that's not an option. I can babble. Okay, we'll try again. Change baby diaper. RNG hates me. Please tell me you're going to pee. Oh, she did it. She did it. I think she did it. I saw Carla go backwards. 
That was getting peed on, wasn't it? What? I did not. I did not get it. What? I saw her go backwards like she got peed on. No, we did not do it. Maybe Carla was too good at parenting and dodged it. That was the first time it looked like she did it, though. No, she didn't do it. She didn't do it. Change your diaper again. I know it's not going to work, though, because she doesn't have to pee. There would be no reason for her to pee on her. Because I think I was trying to do this the first time and her bladder was always full and I couldn't get it to work. But as soon as I did it, when her bladder wasn't full, it worked. But this time it's just not working at all. And we are almost to the time where she's going to age up automatically. Well, like I said, the only thing I can hope for is to glitch it or freeze the aging. Yep, there it goes. Nothing I could do to stop it. Yeah, we only got movement two. We're still missing one of the fine motor skills and thinking one. Okay, we did get top-notch infant though. Well, time to reboot and turn off aging. Okay, since I'm not willing to do this until I get lucky enough on all of the random rolls, I am going to get three potions of youth. And since aging is off, this covers Carla, Annalise and Pandora for five days. I know the adult lifespans are longer, but we're just going to say that those three have had their ages reset for five days. Okay, we'll try changing her diaper, but she doesn't really have to go that much. Oh, okay, so maybe she's just reeling back because of all the stink and maybe it's because she's a calm infant she'll never pee on her caregiver i don't know oh wait i don't want to put her to sleep yet i wanted to actually feed her first okay let's try super efficient baby care now pick her back up pick her back up a toy truck okay <laughs> they seem to find random items when changing a diaper I don't know. I don't think I've ever had that happen. I've just discovered something. Infants actually pee on their caregivers and then they get a tense buff. The caregiver gets a tense buff. And Carla can't get a tense buff. So possibly that's what's wrong. I did try with Annalise a couple times, but I think maybe I just need to keep trying with Annalise. Okay, she unlocked her first word. We still need one more fine motor skill, though. Okay, here we go. We're changing the baby's diaper again, but this time with Annalise. Oh, and she got peed on immediately. Okay. That must be it, then. Carla cannot get tense, and Annalise has a diaper change disaster tense plus two buff. So, if you're using your previous Super Sim to care for your next Super Sim, then you can't have the carefree trait or the beach life trait because both of them eliminate being tense. Okay, now I can just keep her diaper changed and not really worry about it. Be abducted? What? Okay. Bye, Annalise. Yeah, she can't get pregnant, though. We're actually going to have to get a Sim pregnant eventually in this save. I'm not sure if it should be Pandora. You can change genders, by the way, because I know females cannot get pregnant through alien pregnancies, but I'm not sure if I want to do that with her. Okay, maybe the finger foods will help her get some skills i think the last one is wave i don't know if she'll get that from finger foods i know the doll house will help her get it oh it says find carla now don't let her out i think she wants to wave at you yeah she waved i know i saw her wave i saw her wave oh she didn't get it 
I interrupted her by letting her out. Maybe it's because the find Carla was her actually getting out of the chair. I don't know. It looked like she was waving. But that's what they do when they want out of the high chair. Okay, back to playing peekaboo while we play with the dollhouse. We can multitask. Okay, she's getting a milestone. Which one is it? Okay, she waves. Okay, I think that's the last social milestone. No, I think waving is not actually a social milestone. All right, so waving is fine motor. So we don't have to do the fine motor stuff anymore. We just need to learn peekaboo, blow a kiss, and then that's it. The other one is survived seven nights in a haunted house, but that's not necessary because she's an infant. So we can do that at any life stage. Oh, she blew kisses. Okay, so she got the blow kisses one. Now she just needs to learn peekaboo. Okay, that's all the finger foods. She dislikes peanut butter puffs and yogurt melts, and she likes ODOs and banana slices. Oh, is she about to get her last milestone? Is she gonna play peekaboo? And ball sliver. Okay, she has to be down on the ground for this one, and she doesn't like being set down. But she's reaching the milestone, and it's so drawn out. Come on, just do it. Oh, so cute. Oh, the bathtub got in the way, but okay. This is not the best house. Okay. And that concludes in two normal lifespan time frames. All of the infant milestones. So for those of you that don't know, this is James Turner's website and he has a way to track the super sim things. Um, he doesn't have everything on there, of course, but it's really hard to keep all this stuff up to date. So for milestones, we have adopted and born at the hospital. First, we have first baby food, first bath, first bubble bath, first diaper blowout, first finger food, first trip to a park, first vacation, first visit to a family member's home, first visitors, peed on caregiver, slept through the night, and we're going to skip the survived seven nights in a haunted house. You can get that one as an infant, but you can get that at any life stage. So we're not going to do that one. Then for social, we have first smiled, learn peekaboo, learn to babble, learn to blow a kiss, learn to blow raspberry, learn to coo, learn to laugh, said first word. We also have learned pincer grasp, learn to clap, learn to grab, learn to reach, learn to wave, put toe in mouth, and then gross motor, learn to crawl, learn to creep, learn to dance, learn to sit up, lifted head, pulled to stand, rolled over to back, and rolled over to tummy. And that's basically 100% of all of the infant milestones that you could possibly get with one sim. You can get born only if you do not have get to work. So I'm going to go ahead and check that one off because there's actually no way for me to get that unless I disable get to work in my game and then get it on one of my children and then re-enable it in my game. So the other option is born at home. So we will have one of our sims born at home that is a child of Pandora and then I will count this one as complete. So the only thing left to do is to age her up. Happy oh, birthday, man, Pandora. So okay, and oh, she only got movement level two. Okay, so I was wrong. You can't get movement level three, but that doesn't really matter. So Pandora has earned a bonus trait. She got top-notch infant, and we're going to go ahead and make her independent. And now she's a toddler. I really think the pigtails are cute. We'll probably do that one. Okay, and so this is Pandora as a toddler in her everyday look, her formal, her sleepwear, her party, her swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather. So mostly just styled outfits because she's a toddler. Okay, well, the toddler life stage is going to go fast. 
Okay, and see, she still has the learn to walk, learn to climb stairs, and learn to dance. And her movement skill is level two. So she actually might get an extra milestone. I don't know. Uh, we'll see about that. Hopefully that doesn't screw things up. But anyway, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.